okay good morning to everybody so i am shogato kumar kor research scholar in the electrical engineering department yeah, i will uh, take the lecture on this current reference and voltage reference so in the last uh, so lecture you have just uh, to go through the differential amplifier yeah so in differential amplifier you need to uh, need a current source in the tail uh, which is called uh, tail current source so how to generate those tail current source and in some cascaded configuration you may need uh, some voltage references also to bias the mosfets so how to generate this uh, current and voltage references so first we look into the what is uh, a difference between a re reference uh, versus source so basically reference is practically more precise and stable but a source which can uh, so drive a load that re reference may not have the capability of driving a load but a source has the capability of driving a load you can draw current and or voltage and in somehow the re reference is much more complex than a source so what would be the properties of a reference so first of all it is uh, so it should be independent of uh, process voltage and temperature so uh, that uh, wh whatever it may, so may be it may be a current reference or voltage reference the temperature should not uh, the temperature uh, one of the varies then that current or voltage should not change and uh, so it would be independent of um, uh, basically output voltage or current and it should be independent of noise and other uh, in interference effects and uh, basically it would be easy to design or tune the voltage reference or current reference so first of all we will uh, see what is power supply dependency basically your voltage reference or current reference whatever it may be so it should be independent of any power supply variations so first of all sensitivity sensitivity these are all of the terms are given here so you can find uh, what amount of uh, so i reference or v reference is one will change basically so due to the change is the voltage uh, voltage means power supply so this is uh, called the sensitivity and some other power supply dependency irf uh, delta i so reference by i reference so ideally this sen sensitivity must be so zero for power supply independence when each power supply varies so up to some extent that current reference that current whatever the reference current so it should not vary so then the need of this current reference where we will use the current reference there are different uh, circuits circuit blocks analog circuit blocks so there we can use the voltage or current references first of all op amp this is the basic analog building block and comparator oscillator whatever and some other circuits are also there so it is a com common practice to uh, to generate one voltage or current reference and then copy those current or voltage reference in different places of the circuit so if you uh, can imagine that if there are different blocks in your complete circuit there are two three op amps or kind of things so generate one current reference and then copy those current reference in the subsequent blocks so uh, basically uh, basically it saves area and power so because current reference or voltage reference it is much more complex so then the voltage source and current source so there are some crude uh, current references is given here so you can see so it is vdd and it is ri or r so whatever the current will flow this will be vdd by ri but so this is not independent of vdd so if your vdd changes then i also change yeah so now this one uh, this is a mosfet and you are biasing with a bias voltage so the current through the mosfet depends on the current through the mosfet depends on what what is the basic equation of this current equation vds 
and uh, so not WIL. So the common parameter are this is the VGS, so what will be the VGS and the WIL of the uh, MOSFET. So basically if this V changes, so your current will also change. And one more thing, so during fabrication of this MOSFET, so, so let you have designed for a WIL ratio of 10. So let the W is 10 micrometer and L is 1 micrometer. So during the fab fabrication of this MOSFET, if W changes so by some extreme, so let 5% changes. So it may happen in the cell when during the fabrication process. So your current will also change. And uh, one more thing, when the fabrication process is going on, what about the doping? So they do so during the fab fabrication, so that may uh, vary. So it will change the current. So basically this is, uh, this is uh, basically more process dependent. If the process changes, or pro uh, some process variation occurs, so then this current will also change. And one more thing, so you, uh, uh, this, this voltage, basically this is the VGS of this MOSFET. Uh, basically, uh, man, if this voltage changes, uh, uh, this voltage, man, if it is not a battery operated system, so may you are uh, so giving from some sources. Uh, so if this uh, changes, your current will also change. So it needs a re reference voltage source. So that will not change so due to some other variation. So maybe the process, um, um, uh, maybe the supply variation. So first one, uh, it is not independent of VDD and this re register value so should be accurate. And for the second one, so it needs a reference voltage and it is more sensitive to the process variation. So now the third one. So third one here, so this is a current mirror. I think when you have taught the current mirrors. So this is a current mirror and this is a reference current source. So what will be the uh, WIL ratio of these M1 and one M2 you just think. So then uh, this current will be the multiple of this current. This is I would equal to M into I O. So these are uh, three crude ca current references. So then go to some more complex current. So this is not complex, uh, so simple. So here, basically one resistance is being used. This is called the re re resistance biasing. So this resistance and this MOSFET uh, basically will define the whatever current will flow through this current, uh, through this MOSFET. So you just uh, take a look. So this is a diode connected MOSFET. So what will be the GM, man, if you see from uh, this node, so what will be the resistance of this? Uh, diode connected MOS huh? for diode connected MOS uh, from this point if you see so what will be the resistance will be there it, it will be 1 by gm so you, uh, basically you can easily calculate what uh, what will be the current through this uh, uh, through this branch that is r1 the total resistance in the branch is r1 uh, plus 1 by gm so according to that so this current will flow and if W2 uh, is uh, so not equal to W1, so then whatever the ratio or fraction is there, so that amount of current will flow. And then this delta is 0, re relation for delta VDD, so, so if VDD changes, so you can see that I0 also changes. So the sensitivity of I ref to VDD is basically 1. So it is not supply independent. So it is dependent on the supply. So these are the, so basically how to make this current reference to, to independent of VDD. So this is our main target. So first of all, we will discuss about the independency of uh, supply and then we go to the temperature dependence. And this is called basically a threshold reference uh, current reference. So this current, whatever the I out, is basically depends on threshold voltage of this transistor. That's why it is called threshold reference. 
current reference. So if you can calculate the current, whatever the, the I in and I out, so you can get a re relation kind of thing. So this kind of thing. So if Vt is greater than V on, V on one, so so this transistor M one, so there will be a drop or whatever v, 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 Vgs will be there. So this voltage is across the R2. So what will be the current I out will be Vgs one by R2. Okay. So what will be Vgs so one basically Vt plus V on Vt plus V on and R2 will be there. So this V on uh, this Vt is the threshold voltage and V on this is twi I, uh, twice I in by K dax or you may this if it is a NMOS transistor is K n dax into W1 by L1. And if you uh, this relation Vt is greater than v, uh, v on V on 1 then simply it uh, so Vt by R2. So to make so v, uh, uh, v on less to make V on less what we should do? To make V on so much less than the Vt what we should do? Okay. And So these are uh, different techniques to uh, re reduce the V on. Okay. So then, then, uh, then you can get a current which is independent of VDD. So uh, basically, I out is V T by R two. So there are no such uh, dependency on uh, basically VDD, but one thing is that this V V on has some dependency of VDD. So, so if you calculate the dependency of I out with the VDD, then it is 0 0.045, it is much less than in the previous case, the dependency of I ref was 1 and in that case, in this case, it is 0 0.045. So the dependency of that current, whatever I out on VDD is much, uh, much less in this one basically in this case. So now, so this was basically had a re resistance biasing. So this resistance R1 uh, basically will fix this I in. So now in this case, so this is a cell biasing circuit, a cell biasing threshold reference. So instead of R, so we have used a current mirror here that is M3 and M4. So M3 and M4, basically whatever the current I2, so that will be boots, uh, uh, bootstrapped in this branch. So this branch current and this branch current will be equal. So I1 equal to I2, so because of this current mirror. Otherwise, so this portion is same as the previous portion, only here, so this additional current mirror is there. So if you verify the equations, whatever the design equations are there. So first of all, so I1 equal to I2 due to this uh, M3 and M4 current mirror. And then, so this VGS, whatever the previous equations was there for I out. So this equation VG, VGS1 will define the current I2. V, v, VGS1 will define the current so I2 through this register. So basically this is the current equation, this is the second equation and this is the first equation. If we neglect the challenge the modulation of this M3 and M4, then I1 equal, uh, one will be equal to I2. This is the first equation, this is the sequ uh, second equation. So if you plot first and uh, for I1 and I2, so then you can get uh, these two curves for I2, if it is VGS1 by R, for I1, whatever the VGS1 is there, so this equation will be there. So there will be two, two meeting points for I1 equal to I2, basically this circuit 
support two current. Actually, one is the zero current, no current may flow. And the second one, it, uh, so where the two curves basically intersects, so this point. So what man, we have to do, the two current level is supported. So man, it needs a startup circuit. Startup circuit basically uh, to will uh, make this current to make the I1 and I2 equal to IQ, this is operating point. So whenever that current will be zero, the startup circuit will start the circuit and it will bring that I1 and I2 into this point. So, so there is a need of this uh, startup circuit. Okay, up to this it is fine. Which, which one? Okay, okay, okay. So one thing is that whenever to let uh, basically I1 and I2 is 0. Hmm? So this is VDD, this is RB and this is a diode connected mode. Okay. So basically this, this voltage when uh, I1 equal to 0 or I1 or I2 equal to 0. So basically this node voltage will be 0 because current is 0. So if this node voltage is 0, so then what will be this voltage? So this voltage will be around Vp. So this node will be Vt or something else. So it will be less than Vt. Huh? So if it is 0, so then this voltage will be less than Vt. So here for this diode connected MOS, so what will be this voltage? So this will be greater than Vt. So this will supply a current. So if this voltage is Vt and this voltage is less than Vt, so this MOS will be on. This is not clear. So this voltage is less than Vt and this voltage is greater than Vt. So, so there will be a Vt, uh, so this uh, v, v, VGS will be there. So, there, so that's why RB is there. So this is a diode connected MOS. So this resistance is 1 by GM. So you can think about a voltage divided circuit. So if this VGS, basically if this get a VGS, so then this the MOS will be on. So this will supply a current. So let's see whenever this current, this psi 1 is increasing. So what will happen? So this voltage will also increase. So this node voltage because this VG will 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 on uh, basically will also increase to support this uh, to I1 equal to I2. So if there is some current is flowing through this path, so this same current will be flowing through this path. So this node voltage will increase. Huh? So this node voltage will increase means this node voltage will also increase uh, to 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 make this. Uh, transistor into the saturation region. So slowly, so this current will increase and the, uh, the, this transistor will go to the cutoff because it's Vs is increasing, Vg is fixed, Vg is fixed. So this Vs is increasing. So uh, making Vgs is less re reduced. So this will go to the cutoff. So when to I1 equal to I2, so there will be no current flowing through this one. But so there is some current flowing through this circuit that is I1 and I2. Is, is it fine? Okay. So now it's a cell biasing current reference. So there are two current mirrors are there, the lower current mirrors and the upper current mirrors. So if uh, these ratios are same, then I ref and the I zero will be equal. If these uh, this current mirror ratio and this current mirror ratios are same, then 
uh, in the both branch same current will be flowing so if so this w or this k is greater than 1 uh, then i0 will be greater than i ref this k is greater than 1 k is greater than 1 so then uh, so i0 will be greater than i ref this is a current mirror simple current mirror so i ref is flowing through this m1 and for m2 if the w i l ratio is k times the w i l ratio of m1 then k times current will be uh, flowing through this branch so this is a simple equation i0 equal to k into r f and it is somewhat it is supply independent but here you can think here also two current level is supported uh, there is no such current uh, not two current level there are no such current uh, what will be the amount of current that is i ref because there are no such fix uh, what will fix the current so no such component of this to this one whatever so, so i ref will be flowing through this branch so that will be multi that i out will be the multiple times or k times of this i ref and who will fix the current if all the transistors are in saturation then any current level so this circuit can support so because of this simple equation i0 equal to k into i ref so how to fix the current this is one circuit this is the more uh, modified version of this one so here one uh, resistance called rb it is visible rb the rb is here who will fix the current so what are the equations so let uh, so, ju so just uh, analyze this circuit so here you can see for m3 and m4 for this current so mirror the rear uh, w, w l ratio is basically 1 is to 1 the same w l ratio so whatever current is flowing through this branch basically it will flow through this branch also so if w l ratio is uh, basically 1 is to 1 so now for this current mirror uh, here you can see the rear uh, ratio is not same that is 1 is to m so but here and a extra resistor is there so if uh, this ratio this w by ratio of this transistor m2 is less than the w by ratio of m1 for support the same current in the branch so its vgs should be more so than this is it correct if same current is flowing through this branch and the w i l ratio of m2 is less than the w i l ratio of m1 uh, then this transistor need more vgs so than this transistor it's fine so now you can think for this node what will be the this voltage so this voltage are same for this one uh, for this no uh, to this branch and this branch this vgx vg is uh, same for the both tra uh, transistor but the gs vgx so is not same for both transistor so for m2 vgs is more for m1 vgs is less so what will be the voltage drop across this survey so this will be ib into rb and so ib into rb plus vgs1 will be equal to the uh, to get to source voltage of the m2 so to this equation it is fine okay so if you calculate all these things so then so this final equation so looks like so ib equal to 2 by so rb square into mu n c ox w by l2 into 1 minus 1 by root n uh, whole square so this is the steps you can see later so this is the final final equation of ib so in this final equation you can see so there is no component of vdd so it is supply independent so it only depends on rb and the factor m and also w i ratio of this one so can you 
say what is the temperature coefficient of this current? So what are the temperature dependent parameters are there? Now let the re resistance is temperature independent. So mobility, what is the temperature coefficient of mobility? So it is positive or negative or what? What, what is the equation temperature dependence equation of mu? So, generally for NMOS transistors, so it will be T, uh, mu 0 into T to the power minus. So, here you can see it is in the this position and when if it uh, go up then it will be plus. So, the temperature dependency it is a pitted, pitted means proportional to absolute temperature. So, the temperature dependency is plus, so uh, that is positive temperature coefficient current. Pitted means proportional to absolute temp temperature. So, here this Rb will define the current, so current is uniquely defined, it is supply independent, but it is temperature dependent. So, this is the basically what will be the uh, money this circuit is all uh, basically also supports two current levels. So, these are the equation, uh, this is the curves of this I1 and I2. So, one will be the zero current level and one will, will be the IB. Uh, so, for the fixing this IB, so, uh, so this circuit also needs a status circuit and that I will discuss later. So, how to fix this? Uh, so, I B to this point, this operating point. So, this is the st start of circuit of this one. So, let the car car current is 0. So, there is no current flowing. So, there is no current flowing through this uh, uh, through this current reference. So, this I x will be also 0. So, because this is the, uh, the this current is mirrored to this uh, transistor. So, the voltage drop across this register will be 0. So, for this inverter, it will be 1. So, for this inverter, the output will be 0. So, for this PMOS, the gate voltage is 0. So, this PMOS will on. So, it will, so some current will flow this branch because, because this is a diode connector load. If this PMOS is on, so then current will flow through this path. So, if current is flow in through this path, so then current will flow in this path also because this is a current 